is finally here in the capital city. It's a great night for college football. Welcome in. Get this one started with the boot going directly towards the Hornets and the Sacramento State. They're all greens. We'll bring this one out with a uh, return to about the 20 yard line. And Darren also Elijah Tau Tolliver back there with Caden Bennett getting yet another start and a uh, dangerous pass, but it's successful finding Elijah Tau. Chris Ball and the visiting Lumberjacks here. He's trying to get his first win against the Hornets. Caden Bennett turns the corner, and that's one thing the Hornets had trouble doing a week ago. And the Hornets showing pressure on the outside. They bring that pressure, dump off to the tight end Phillips, and Phillips breaks a tackle and gets into the secondary for first down. Completing at a percentage of nearly 72% of his passes. Looks big ball, broken coverage. It's caught, Lumberjacks take it to the 20, the 10, and all the way for a first and goal. Lumberjacks tried to score first. Hard count, run up the middle, and looks like they get in. They do. Northern Arizona bounce on their in their step, and they score first to take a 6-0 lead. Basically had a kicking competition all week, and the extra point is up and good as they switch kickers for the top and a score, and they lead early. Second down for the Hornets. Bennett on a dangerous out pass, converted and caught. That's Gibson. Hornets gonna be a third and convert on these third and shorts. We're gonna do a direct run up the middle, now veering left, and Millenni's second surge will move the chain. Lumberjacks bring four, it's an option. Bennett keeps it, turns the corner. Bennett across midfield and takes it into Lumberjack territory. Gets another yard or two. Bennett looking big ball down the sideline. Great leaping grab on the far side of the field. Secured by Christian Miller. Formerly to the 16. Bennett surveys, buys time. Throws towards the end zone. Back shoulder, diving. Cure it for the Hornets score. What a play by Kate Bennett. Rolling to his the left. The difference to close out this drive as we are tied at seven. And Bennett to initiate on a three-step drop. Pressure coming from behind. Drag route across the middle of the field. And it goes for a first down to the Hornets. Where they run two downs here. If you're the Hornets. Bennett surveys. Throws late. Back to the left. It's caught. And advancing forward for the first down. Guards have got it. Now Millenni with some blockers in front of him. Millenni undercut, but he's got enough for another Hornet first down, down to the 14. I like the way Millenni downs this year for the Hornets. It's a fake toss to the left. Bennett keeps. Bennett is redirected. It's going to depend on the spot. And I don't think he got Tolliver, Kuntz, and Millenni. And it's going to be Elijah Tau Tolliver who powers his way in for a Sacramento State score. And with a lot of power on that, got that football, got in there, pulled it down. See Coons lead the way there. Tau Tolliver putting that shoulder down and running with power. First time today, a little toss here and a jet sweep to the near side. And that's advanced up to around the 25 yard in motion again. And they'll throw it back to him. It's a double pass. Broken coverage. Could go for a big play. It does for the Lumberjacks as they take it all the way down inside. They'll put themselves in scoring range again. Here's a high snap. Fielded by the Jacks. Turning the corner. And then the Hornets pursuit to slow that down. But the Lumberjacks get down quickly. Gets under center. Hands it off. Running up the middle. First down and more. And a touchdown. Breaking a tackle. Goes Devin Starling. Quickly snapped it. And Made the Hornets pay. Yeah, the Lumberjacks had an off-balance offensive line. For the moment, the Hornets are still up. But by Maleni to the side, it's another option play. Bennett to keep it. Bennett with speed. Bennett breaks a tackle and takes it to the 36-yard line. And by Caden Bennett. Bennett on a play fake. Looks big ball. Down the sideline, running under it and sliding to make the catch. Go the Hornets. And Bennett rolling to his left. Pressure coming and he swallowed up quickly. Nice deep. And a turn and direct handoff. The Hornets trying to close off the lane, doing a good job of running out of bounds. And they're going to run Starling again up the middle. Good bounce off as he breaks a tackle as Starling with a stiff arm on better last week against Montana. Rolling out, rolling away from pursuit, throws downfield to the sideline. And a nice grab, it is ruled a catch. At, it's second and eight. 
Handing off, running left. And now clearing out of the pile. Big run, look out. Cross midfield, 30. And to the 20 at their own two is now inside the red zone. Demonte over the middle, it's caught, and this is a score for the Lumberjacks. On a quick post over the middle. Snap from the two yard line, Demonte looks left, receiver screen, and a toss sweep. What a play. The trickery works to perfect. Here's the score, and the two point conversion has put the Lumberjacks up. Bennett over the middle, that's Coons again. Good hard second effort will leave him a yard short after a nine yard game. Yes, it's going down. He'll turn, he'll give tight space there to Zeke Burnett. Nice spin move. Scoots down the sideline and scores. Hello, freshman. That was a heck of a run. Sometimes you got to beat your man on contact. He did great spin move. Didn't look like there was a running lane. Then he found it with good vision and balance. Offense number one. And looks his like first. Uh, just improvising on his own. And you see, he's not trying to go out of bounds. Watch this. He's turning these things up. You see right so far in this first half. Yeah, and Mather stepped up there and made that tackle there for the horn that's filling that gap, B gap and making it happen. Smoking and made the quarterback move. You mentioned they really hadn't been able to get to him now. A punt that goes off the side of the. So that's a weapon here as uh, Schreiner ends up. I mean, that's just pure right down the middle. Yeah. Visiting Lumberjacks who do have all three of their timeouts. I think a lot of people were wondering about this game, how it would go, and this is a this has been a dog. Stop, give them give them plenty of time to do what they need to do. Demonte was 76 percent passing last game. Let's see where he's a blitz there, and obviously he uh, his timing was off <laughs> on that. So yeah, here's one more look. I don't know. Yeah, that's real. I mean, that's the really. Because yeah. once he scooped, he had determination to get in that end zone. <laughs> the big fella was trying to make it to get into the end zone. Here we go. After review, the runner was down. Give to Burnett, and he's going to run here to the wide side of the field. Tackle down at the 18, and that will exhaust the first half. Pretty good action. The Lumber Starling on the catch, his sixth catch of the year. That was a nice play call right there as well. You see the rush came. He got it over the rush. Demonte did a nice job. And that's going to be enough for a first down. As they snap that to Bryze White, 6'3", 245. He's the tight left. Looking deep downfield. Coverage is tight. And trying to high point the ball but not being able to secure it was the receiver Hendricks. Final 25 seconds of the third quarter. Hornets led at the half 24 20 for Sacramento State. And they blew it, so I don't. <laughs> Time out. Marshall Martin comes out. That's a huge play, risky call. Could flip field position or keep the axe. Dive handoff. There's Starling. Runs left. Starling stretches and he's in. A drive that. 99 yard drive by the Lumberjacks. In the second half, but tonight and this drive belong to Starling and the Lumberjacks. Bennett. Looks big ball down the field, coming back to make the catch. Hornets have it and rip down in by Gibson. Bennett again finds Gandy on the sideline, and Candy ran right through. American had a catch early, but still banged up the early part of the year. Bennett pressure coming, and Bennett is ripped down back at the 25 yard line. Six in the score on second and short. Starling here to the near side, loses a Hornet, gets to the 40. First down for Northern Arizona, 400 yards of total offense. They're going to do another trick. It's an end around to the receiver coming here to the near side and breaks that first tackle before Armand Bailey. DeMonte, pressure coming, tons of it, throws sideline route and incomplete on that sideline. 
Bennett, a long out route, converted for a first down to the far sideline. That's Gibson with a... Maleni, handoff, it's a double reverse, back to Bennett. Hornets with a trick play, crossing over the middle. First down, pinch between a couple of the field position or keep this drive alive, it's fourth down. Bennett to throw over the middle, caught! That's Koontz, first down, Hornets. Boy, the defender jumped the route, second fourth down on this drive. Here comes a blitz, Bennett is in trouble, keeps the play alive, throws on the move, has got a man and a first down for Sack. Bobby Fresca is the offensive coordinator dial here. Bennett wasn't ready for the snap. He fields it, looks downfield, great catch! First and goal, Hornets, Devin Candy. Center, this is a rare look for him. In motion, a dive to the tight end. Push, surge, touchdown, Hornets. That's his first rushing touchdown as a Hornet. And Sacramento State takes the lead at 30 to 28. And how do you get it in the end zone? Sure, run the tight end up the middle. Hornets up three. Coach, coach ball on fourth down, rolling out. DeMonte, he's got pressure, throws late. It's caught for a first down. They're bringing pressure. DeMonte, out route, caught. First down, Lumberjacks. Good recognition for the Lumberjacks. Quick snap. They'll run right. They're going to get the first down and more to the 20 and down to the 16-yard line. To the right. He circles back. Handoff. Up the middle. First down. Very close to a first down. I think they got it. First and goal. Northern Arizona to the... Motion man is Belcher. They throw a lateral backfield. Great hit in the backfield by Sacramento State senior... DeMonte looks towards the end zone. but Rocha recovered. You see Rocha, look at him. He's just reading the quarterback's eyes. He just goes to the football. Breast cancer awareness night, and there's a good look at Cameron Rocha. Yeah, keep that football. First career interception, snap comes in, and the victory formation as a knee is taken by Bennett. Final timeout will be taken. Hornets still have to avoid disaster here. Snap comes in, McGough runs out, and he may take the safety, and he does with two. A big day. Gets the game's final tackle. The Hornets needed all 60 minutes to it made things happen for the Hornets. It was just a tremendous game. We we got the witness of great for that last surge of the season. Get a few guys healthier and uh, see what they can do in the back half of the season.